Okay, in this uh, video we're going to solve a problem about two trains that are going the same way toward a city and they're going at different rates and stuff like that. Um, people tend not to really enjoy these problems, but they're really not that bad as long as you're organized about it. And um, all of these essentially at some point come down to solving a distance equals rate times time relationship. Um, so let's have a problem and see what we can do with it. So the problem is that two trains traveling west toward a city Train A is 540 miles closer to the city than train B. Train A is traveling 24 miles per hour, while train B is traveling 35 miles per hour. If train B arrives at the city three hours before train A, how far from the city is each train at the outset of the problem? So this sounds impossible. It sounds like there's a lot going on. Um, but what I'm going to do first is I'm actually just going to uh, try to draw the best picture I think I can of the situation. And I'm going to start with a, uh, a line, really. So here's my line, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the city and the two trains on here. So here's my city, and then uh, of the two trains, train A is closer to the city, um, so this will be train A, and then train B just needs to be the right of that. So there's train B. And if you read through the problem, you know that train A is 540 miles closer to the city than train B. So that's not the distance between train A and the city, that's actually the distance between A and B, so I'm going to label that. Um, I don't know how far they are from the city at all um, to begin with. That's actually the whole question. So I'm just going to give that a variable. Uh, I'm going to call it x and say that that's x miles. So a is definitely going to travel x miles, and then b is going to have to travel x plus 540 miles to get to the city. So let's keep um, labeling this up with things that were given in the problem. So for example, we are told how fast each of them is going. So a is going 24 miles per hour, and b is going 35 miles per hour. Um, I also kind of know the times at which they get there, not really, but if I decide to give one of the times a variable, then I automatically know the other one. So I usually like to um, go with the one that gets there first and call that T. So train B arrives three hours before train A, so train B gets there first, so I'm going to say that that takes T hours, so it arrives at time T. And if that arrives at time T, then that means that A arrives three hours later, so it's going to arrive at um, just t plus 3. And now I can figure out the distances that they travel. So uh, from the picture, and the picture is key, if you can draw the picture you can solve the problem. Uh, from the picture I know that A travels um, x miles to get to the city, whereas B has to travel um, x plus 540 miles. So it's got to go a lot farther. Um, and from this I now have, uh, if you look at it for each of them we know the distance it goes, we know, we know the rate that it goes, and we know the time that it takes to do that. So that's distance equals rate times time. So I can now write two equations. So x equals 24 times t plus 3. That's distance equals rate times time. And then I also know that x plus 540 equals 35 times t. So uh, if you look at that, I actually have two equations and two unknowns. So x and t are the unknowns. Two equations, so I can just solve that. So I'm going to need a different page to do that. So here we go. These are my equations. If you look at them, the first one is already x is equal to something. So that I'm actually just going to take and plug into the second equation. So I'm going to use substitution on this. So that'll give me um, 24 times t plus 3, and then plus 540 equals 35t. And now I'm just going to solve this. So I'm going to distribute and then go from there. So 24t plus 72 plus 540 equals 35t. Move everything with a t to one side, everything without a t, leave on the same side. So I get 612 is 11t. Um, so t is um, 612 over 11. That's hours, and if you remember, that's when train B gets to the city. Um, so I'm actually just going to copy and paste my picture here, because if you're doing this by hand, you would have it in front of you, but I don't. So this is the original scenario. So we said that t was when tra uh, train B got to the city. Um, so A gets there at t plus 3. But really, at this point, I, I need to figure out what x is. If I go back to that first equation that I had, x equals 24, the quantity t plus 3, I can say that x is 24, the quantity t, which I just found, plus 3. Um, so this is going to be the distance that a is from the city, uh, if I work this out. I actually cheated and I used a calculator on this, um, because these numbers are kind of annoying. Um, so I get that x is uh, 15,480 divided by 11. That's actually in miles. And that's how far A has to go. And then to figure out B, I need to do X plus 540. So this is how far B travels. 
and again I use a calculator. So just to clarify that um, this is how far A travels and the other value we calculate that's how far B travels. So I've kind of answered the question at this point but I always think it's a good idea to go back to the original and just make sure you just like write a sentence that explains what your answer is so that there's no ambiguity. So this was the original problem and I've got A travels uh, 15,480 over 11 miles which is approximately 1,407.273 miles and then B travels 21,420 over 11 miles which is approximately 1,947.273 miles and so we answered the question it's not that bad as long as you're organized um, I really recommend that you draw a picture and label everything in as much detail as possible because after doing that the equations kinda just drop out um, and you can go ahead and solve the system so I hope you found this helpful and good luck.